Hello everybody and welcome back. I wanted to give a short update on the MicroMe project. Um, I finally got some boards back and I've got the, uh, the plans right here and uh, you can already see that there's, uh, there's some notes on here which um, I was expecting that there would be some things wrong with it but well, it was a bit more than I expected, and it was a small, but well, it was a small error, but it turned out to be um, well, a stupid one. Say it that way. So on Wednesday, this showed up, and um, it personally made me really happy because uh, these were kind of lost for two days, but they turned back up. Everything was fine. And inside, there were boards, 10 of them. And yeah, they look absolutely perfect. They were just what I expected from them. They're every bit as good as um, any other suppliers that I've used, and I've used really expensive ones in the past. And um, these boards are just beautiful. So, well, let's put them aside because we want to be looking at this one here. So when I get a board like this, um, usually I grab a meter and I start looking for important stuff. Like for example, um, are there any bridges on the power lines? So I'll just check between the power levels and ground um, because sometimes that happens. But in this case, uh, I did the DRC before um, before having these made and, and everything. So that turned out to be working okay. And then I went through most of the pins um, between the Teensies, between each other, and between the Teensy and the Arduino. And I found my first stupid mistake. Um, I, had, I have one uh, serial line between the two and I accidentally crossed it twice. So the, well, basically transmit was talking to transmit and receive was talking to receive. And um, well, yeah, that would result in one bodge wire or two of them. Uh, and, uh, but that was it. I didn't find anything else. In the beginning, later on, I stumbled onto this second mistake that I had, that I made, jeez, that I made, and um, that one was really stupid because uh, on the Teensy, it's like pin two is data zero, and when I was uh, connecting the VGA connectors, I made the error of not using the data number but the pin number so everything is like two offset which meant that uh, that would have to be fixed in order for it to work perfectly um and uh but it, 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 it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt it would still work um these boards are still good for development so um that's fine and the fix isn't that awful but apart from that, I didn't find anything. Five volts was okay, three volts was okay, the second three volts was okay, um, the uh, PS2 connector was okay. Um, I knew beforehand that the uh, that the 25 pin connector would be wrong uh, because I picked it wrong, but that's okay too. And the joystick connectors were okay too. So. I started hunting for parts and an old an old uh, motherboard kindly donated its PS2 keyboard connector and a broken graphics card uh, donated the VGA connector and the rest I had lying around. So this is one of the boards uh, that is actually working and you can see on the back that this here is the fix for the VGA. Yeah, uh, I wish I hadn't made that mistake because uh, 
it meant cutting three wires on the board and uh, the the TXRX on the Arduino meant cutting two other uh, lines on the board and, and soldering in wires but it's still okay for a first try um, I already fixed this in the design documents and I noted it on the on the current boards um, that you shouldn't order them but apart from that um, I now have a board that is actually working and I found out some things that uh, I'm going to change for example these two capacitors here for the audio they're going to move anyway but I have to make sure that if I put capacitors there um, they're kind of in the way of this connector because you can still use each and every teensy on this board um, in standalone mode so you could just connect uh, to the teensy and load a new program on it without taking it out um, the same goes for the Arduino Nano uh, but in order to flash that you should put the TZ into load mode uh, because the two of them um, would usually be talking to each other and that would interfere with the programming apart from that um, everything's nice um, I have the uh, the LED strip that I wanted to have for just a bit for show and you can you can make it part of the case and everything um, I added that and uh, I tested it out just really simply uh, and everything seems to work um, with the VGA fix uh, we've got all eight bits of color uh, the color levels are really even and they look really nice I'm pretty happy with that uh, the only thing that I didn't have was the fuse and I just put a wire across there um, I needed to change the fuse part anyway because uh, this fuse part looks kind of strange and it's uh, no longer available and um, well maybe people don't want to go with a fuse anyway but I thought well if it's an old design it deserves a fuse because um, well sometimes a fuse helps and sometimes it doesn't yeah that is where we're at right now I've got a really nicely working board I'm going to start writing up software to test the connections and to give uh, each part a starting point uh, maybe with a small library that does the communication and um, up after that uh, I'm going to actually um, put these uh, three uh, three sketches on github and I think um, I'm waiting for another set of boards which has the the audio and MIDI part um, populated and I'm going to just test those parts um, apart from the apart from the board itself and make sure that all the fixes that I put in are are correct on there and I suppose that the next revision of the board which will be the third uh, should already be good enough to go so that would be the the, the first final board uh, to have and um, yeah I've been in contact with um, JLC PCB and Easy EDA and uh, they told me that starting next week um, all colors of PCB boards will be same price um, so maybe try another color if you have a suggestion leave it in the comments that would be cool also if anybody knows that I'm actually missing some sort of hardware which is vitally important to a computer like this and that should be part of the board because we do have quite a lot of real estate on the board um, that is left over uh, the the size of the board is mainly dictated by the number of connectors on the back and on the side and um, so there's quite a lot of room still free on here so if anybody has a really good idea what we can put on there just leave it on the comments or um, put it in an issue on github yeah so for a start that's it um, I just wanted to give you the update where it's at right now and it's moving along quite nicely 
it's uh, nothing that you can just have made and download and use right now but uh, we're getting there and oh yeah one thing is um, I made sure that the entire bill of material uh, also matches up with the um, ordering numbers of um, LCSC and because that that makes it just really simple to get parts and uh, I like solutions that are simple yeah that's it for today um, just wanted to keep you updated and uh, I'm gonna continue here and see where I can get if anybody has a suggestion as when to have update videos if they should be like once a week or just if anything happens uh, yeah I'll be happy to hear the comments uh, so far it's cool thank you very much for watching and bye bye